Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about a very commonly asked interview question that is how to calculate the depth of an asynchronous FIFO. An asynchronous FIFO is used to transfer data from a module working at very high frequency to the module working at very low frequency. Let us see how to calculate the depth of an asynchronous FIFO. Let us suppose we have two modules in a system, module A and module B. Module A is working at very low frequency and module B is working at comparatively high frequency. Both the modules have separate transmit and receive channels. Module A transmit data to module B on its transmit channel and receive data from module B on its receive channel. Similarly, module B transmits data to module A on its transmit channel and receives data from module A on its receive channel. When module A transmit data to module B, our writing speed is very slow, but our reading speed is very high. So we need not to have any memory buffer between the two modules. But because both the modules are working at different clock frequency, as per clock domain crossing, we need to have some sort of clock synchronizer between the two modules. But when module B transmits data to module A, our writing speed is very high as compared to our reading speed. So we need some sort of memory buffer or asynchronous FIFO in the middle. But let me clarify one thing, data should not be continuous, it should be in the form of bus. Because if my data is continuous, at one point of time, my asynchronous FIFO will become full and we will lose all the data thereafter. Moreover, there should be minimum bus to bust gap so that module A should get sufficient time to read complete FIFO. Now the next question comes, what should be the depth of a FIFO? Let us try to understand by taking an example. Let us suppose module A is working at clock frequency FA which is equal to 20 MHz and module B is working at frequency FB which is equal to 200 MHz, quite higher than FA. And data is transferred in the form of burst having size of equal to 100 bytes. Now from the above data we can easily calculate time taken to write one data byte which is equal to time period of clock FB which is 1 by FB and FB is equal to 200 megahertz so which becomes 5 nanoseconds. That means in 5 nanoseconds we can write one data byte. Now time taken to write a complete burst which will be equal to burst size into time taken to write one data byte. Burst size is 100 and time taken to write one data byte is 5 nanoseconds so which becomes 500 nanoseconds. That means in 500 nanoseconds we are able to write complete burst. Now let us see uh, on the read side. Time taken to read one data byte which is equal to time period of clock frequency FA which is 1 by FA and FA is 20 megahertz which becomes 50 nanosecond. That means in 50 nanosecond we are able to read one data byte. And now let us compute the data read during the burst writing. So we are able to write burst in 500 nanosecond divided by 50 nanosecond which becomes 10. So that means during the write time we are able to read 10 bytes. What is the buffer size? Buffer size will be equal to burst size minus data read during the burst write. Burst size is 100 and during the burst we are able to read 10 bytes. So our buffer size will be 90. Now let us calculate what should be the minimum burst to burst gap because 90 bytes are left to be read by module A and these 90 bytes are stored in a FIFO. So we need 90 more clock cycles to read these 90 bytes from FIFO. So 90 into clock period of FA which is 50 nanosecond. So there is minimum requirement of 4500 nanosecond as a bus to bust 
gap. Friends, I am giving this question to you for exercise. In this, writing frequency FB is equal to 80 MHz. Reading frequency FA is 50 MHz. And bus size is equal to 120. You have to calculate minimum 5 foot depth and minimum bus to bus gap. Please share your answer in the comment section below. There only I will reply to your answer whether it is correct or not. With this I am going to close this session. But we will continue with another session wherein we will include some idle cycles during write and read. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to have the notification. Thank you so much for watching.